Keith Schweitzer, the junior. He loses possession for a moment. McArdle, though, there picks up the ground ball. Inside pass, beautiful shot to the back of the cage. Contino overextended a little bit on McArdle as he picked up the loose ball. Keirick by St. John's. Right when the penalty expired, Mullen comes over the line, picks up that ground ball that off the uh, the shot that came off the, the pipe, able to create offense to McArdle. Really, Ben, that wall that Rutgers offense just simply cannot break through. He's saving all the shots he's supposed to save today. Dylan Ayers, the setup pass to McArdle. Boy, that was quick. Ayers to McArdle, not a heck of a lot of angle, but very accurate and very hard. Not a lot, Chris Alink. Junior will keep it here for St. John's, approaching the 10-minute mark. Beautiful pass in front. Can't capitalize was Sunudo, but it stays with St. John's. McArdle back with possession. Now tries to angle it up and finds the back of the net. It does for everybody else. He started this possession with some nice feeds inside. Decided just to drive hard. Was able to get half a step, get his hands free. I'm not sure where that ball went For in. For a midfield that's somewhat been in question in terms of productivity, he's been coming up with playmaking opportunities this afternoon. Oh, no doubt about it. He's been playing with a tremendous amount of confidence. And great pressure as Alon turns it over quickly. Beautiful setup pass, and what a goal by Colin Keegan. Of a, of a turnover prone Rutgers team, and that's exactly what happens right there. Do you quickly strike on Cage, or do you try to hold for a last shot? I think for this last minute right now, you got to continue to do what you're doing. Trust Kieran McArdle. Trust Kevin Sunudo. When it gets to a minute, then I think you want to hold it for a last shot. And another strike. And left on the clock right there. Just a nice little easy two-man game. All of a sudden, two Rutgers defenders. Well, here's that two-man game we just talked about. Beautiful setup pass to the back of the cage. And great cut by Connor Mullen. Right down the pack pipe. Kieran McCardle got himself above the goal line with his left hand. Connor Mullen. And so McCardle backs his way in and comes up with McCardle. Because this time he scored with his right hand. He drove righty, went to roll back for his left hand. The Rutgers defender tried. Shot that looked to have deflected and picked away by St. John's back on the attack. Time, Sunudo. Crossfield pass, top shelf, McArdle once more. Gosh, great job on the fast break here. Kevin Sunudo was at the point. Kieran McArdle on the other side of the field just found the passing lane. Sunudo zips it right across. You got Chris Elaine moving. Sunudo now back at the point behind Cage as we approach the eight minute mark here in this third quarter. McArdle, four points already. Now moves in, shot to the back of the cage. What St. John's really is doing a nice job of taking advantage of, when they're getting that attack dodge, right there, McArdle, drawing a... Cernudo trying to go top shelf, instead goes behind cage. Final 10 seconds. In front, angled low and coming through was Fitzgerald for his... Well, without sounding like a broken record, John... <laughs> Kieran McCarter was able to drive hard lefty above the goal. Fitzgerald continued his cut forward. Uh, you couldn't pick a better opportunity than Hofstra to play on Tuesday. Besides the rivalry, highly ranked, outstanding team, playing very well. They're playing Delaware today. This will be a great test for St. John's. And a back of the... What I think you really have to like about St. John's right now is they're continuing to push transition offense. They're, they're still uh, they're 